Hello friends, this video on conservation of plants and animals part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us look at the harmful effects of deforestation. So we saw what causes deforestation, so we know. But we should also know what are the harmful effects of deforestation so that we understand why do we need to stop deforestation or how should we try to compensate the deforestation. So first is loss of species. Now what happens is when we cut down the forests on a larger scale, so you are actually uh, finishing off one complete forest. Now there are a lot of animals, a lot of birds, insects which were living in that forest. Now when you cut down the forest, you are actually altering or you are actually snatching away the habitat from all those animals. So those animals lose their habitat. So they do not have food, they do not have shelter. So a lot of species are lost. So they are not able to survive and they all die. Now sometimes it also happens that some species are specially present in that particular forest or in that particular area. For example, if you would have ever heard of the Panchmai, Panchmari uh, National Park. So there you have certain species which are unique to that place. So those species like the giant squirrel, a squirrel which is very big in size. It is something which is uh, very exclusively find in that place. So if that particular area is completely destructed, what will happen? Those squirrels will also die because they will lose their habitat, they will lose their um, food, their source of food, that environment. Now when they die, since those species are not present anywhere else, so we are actually going to lose that species forever. So a lot of species are lost because they lose their habitat due to loss of habitat. Soil erosion. Now when trees are present, the roots of the trees, they hold the soil in a tight way. So soil erosion cannot take place. Now when we start cutting down trees, so we are left with lesser number of trees or no trees in that area. So this allows the top layer of soil to get easily washed away by water. So whenever there is rainfall or whenever you irrigate the soil, whenever there is water basically in that area. Now there is nothing which can hold the top layer of soil tightly because the roots are no more there. We have already cut down the plants. Now the soil is very loose and it can get easily carried away by water. Now what happens when the soil gets carried away easily? The fertility of the soil is lost because fertility of soil is due to the presence of humus which is present in the top layer of the soil. Now that layer itself gets washed away. So there is no humus in the soil, there is no fertility. Now when the fertility is lost, what is going to happen? So your fertile land which had fertility, so that fertile land is going to get gradually converted into hard rocks. And these rocks over a period of time, this, this will result in the formation of deserts. So this will lead to desertification of that area. So agriculture will no more be possible in that area because fertility is completely lost. So this is another uh, consequence of deforestation. So deforestation can lead to desertification. Increased concentration of carbon dioxide. So when we cut down the plants, what do plants do? Plants take in carbon dioxide from the atmosphere for photosynthesis. So when we have lesser number of plants, or we don't have plants. So there is nobody which can take in the carbon dioxide from atmosphere. Therefore, the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere will increase. And we know that carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas. What is a greenhouse gas? That means this gas or carbon dioxide helps to absorb infrared radiation and thus helps to increase the temperature of the earth. Now if carbon dioxide increases too much then the temperature of the earth will also increase too much. Correct? So that is one disadvantage that due to increased concentration of carbon dioxide this will result in global warming that is the average temperature of earth will keep on increasing and gradually it will reach a temperature which is not suitable for the survival of living organism so that is one disadvantage the next disadvantage is too much increase in the concentration of carbon dioxide can also lead to pollution it will add on to 
pollution factors. So that means also carbon dioxide increase in its concentration is not advantageous. In fact, it is disadvantageous for the environment. Lowered groundwater level. Now, when the plants have been removed, then the level of groundwater also reduces. Destroy forest ecosystem. So the entire ecosystem of the forest because the plants have been cut down so the animals can't survive without them. So that entire ecosystem is spoiled. Possibility of flood increases. Why? Because when plants are present, the roots of the plants hold the soil tightly. And because of this, the water holding capacity of the soil is also more. Now, when there are no plants, so the soil is like left loose. So, the soil gets easily carried away by water and also the water holding capacity of the soil reduces. So, water holding capacity of soil decreases. Now, when the water holding capacity of soil decreases, what will happen? Whenever there will be rainfall. The soil will not be able to hold water. It will not be able to retain water. So, water movement from the soil into the ground will also decrease because the soil is not able to hold enough water. So, what will happen? There will be more water on the surface. So, that, that is what we call as flood because whenever the water holding capacity of the soil is good, in that case, water will be taken in by the soil, soil will hold a lot of water and then it will pass the same water into the ground and that is how the groundwater level will also increase. But now since there are no plants, so soil is not able to hold enough water, so water is also not penetrating into the ground, so most of the water is present on the surface and that is causing flood. Therefore, possibility of flood will increase. Also, possibility of drought will increase. Now, this might sound contradictory because flood means lot of water. In fact, water logging and drought is lack of water or that or lack of rainfall basically. Drought is lack of rainfall or less rainfall that is called drought. So on one side it will increase floods possibility because water retaining capacity of soil is not good. So if there is too much of rainfall in case, in that case there will be flood which will cause destruction. In case there is lack of rainfall, how lack of rainfall? Because when the carbon dioxide concentration increases, now when the number of plants decreases, so number of plants reduces, so what will happen? The concentration of carbon dioxide will increase. Now when the concentration of carbon dioxide increases, then the greenhouse effect increases. Now when greenhouse effect increases, then the average temperature on the earth also increases. Now when the average temperature on the earth increases, so the earth is actually getting warmer. Therefore, the chance of rainfall decreases. So that is one way to think of it. There is another way is these plants, what do they do? They undergo transpiration. In transpiration, they lose some water to the atmosphere. So they add moisture to the atmosphere. How? By transpiration. So they add moisture to atmosphere. Now when there are no plants, then the moisture in the atmosphere decreases. So moisture, there it is no more adding a moisture. Instead, the moisture in the atmosphere is decreasing. That means the presence of water vapor in the atmosphere is decreasing. That means the clouds are less. So when you have lesser clouds, then what will happen? You will have lesser rainfall. Because what is cloud? Cloud is nothing but water vapor present in the atmosphere. And this water vapor is due to the moisture which is present in the atmosphere. So plants also contribute to the moisture present in atmosphere. Now when you don't have plants, so there is nobody contributing to the moisture. So the contribution to the moisture decreases. So the amount of moisture in the atmosphere decreases. The amount of clouds in the atmosphere decreases. And therefore the amount of rainfall will also decrease. So that means the chances of drought will also increase. So now looking at these harmful effects, I am sure that you must be understanding that why are we learning this entire lesson on conservation of plants and animals because conserving them is very very important. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience.
Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.